Welcome to Colony TV, the governmental educational channel for the town of Colony. All right, you guys, we're going to get started today for our story time. Let's all raise our hands up to say hello. Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Now let's say hi to our eyes as we look at our stories today. Hello to my eyes, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my eyes, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Let's say hello to our ears while we listen to stories today. Hello to my ears, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my ears, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Let's say hello to our mouths so we can sing together today. Ready? Hello to my mouth, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my mouth, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Oh, excellent singing, you guys. Today, our story time is all about the holidays. Is anybody celebrating a holiday soon? Who's, you are. What holidays are you celebrating? Christmas. We had Thanksgiving. What other holidays? Any other holidays anyone is celebrating? What holiday? Christmas is coming and at this time of year there's lots of holidays. We have Christmas holidays, we have Hanukkah, we have Kwanzaa. A lot of people are celebrating a lot of very special things. So our... Yes and there's sledding and there's a lot of snow outside this time of year. So we're going to talk about all of those things. Not, uh, not on your street, huh? Well, the first story we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, Christmas. Is the first holiday we're going to read stories about. And this is the snappy little Christmas pop-up book. Now, when I open the book, I'm going to see if you know what pops out to surprise us. <gasps> Christmas Day is coming. The holiday has begun. Merry Christmas, snowman. We're going to have some fun. The reindeer are excited. There's Santa and the sleigh. Get in line, he calls to them. We'll soon be on our way. A Christmas angel smiling. She's as happy as can be. She's been waiting all year long to sit on top of the tree. The Jolly Christmas Carolers. You know what a caroler is? A caroler is someone who sings Christmas songs. Oh, yeah, it's a little different than Halloween, huh? Not many Christmas carols. <laughs> they come laughing through the snow. Oh, what fun to hear them sing the songs that we all know. Santa works hard all night long. The reindeer work hard, too. But now they're almost finished just one more house to do. <gasps> At last it's Christmas morning. Just look beneath the tree. Santa's brought us all these gifts. How lucky can we be? Here's a funny package. It's big and high and wide. Let's hurry and unwrap it to find out what's inside. The polar bear so happy, her present is just right. This teddy is the perfect toy to cuddle with all night. The penguin twins are smiling. Their presents are so great. 
And isn't it a lucky thing they know how to skate? The day is almost over and we've all had so much fun. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Do you think we could all make ourselves look like Santa Claus? He has a big belly. So let's put our hands out and make our bellies really round. And we'll say Santa Claus is big and fat. He wears black boots and a bright red hat. His nose is red, just like a rose. And he ho, ho. Hoes from his head to his toes. Can you guys ho ho like Santa? Ho ho ho. Make your voices really low. Ho ho ho. Oh, what a good job. And who, when Santa comes, he's on a sleigh, right? And who helps his sleigh go? The reindeer. Okay, we're going to sing a reindeer song. Everybody put one finger up. One little, two little, three little reindeer, four little, five little, six little reindeer, seven little, eight little, nine little reindeer, guiding Santa's sleigh. Oh, nice job, you guys. Well, I just happen to have a sleigh here. This is going to be Santa's sleigh, and here is our Santa. And Santa's going to sit in his sleigh. But I have a book about a year that Santa wondered if maybe another animal might be better to help guide his sleigh. So he tried many different animals, and the book is going to tell us what happened. It's called Who Will Guide My Sleigh Tonight? And I Need Your Help. Do you guys think you could help me? Okay, I'm going to pass everyone out an animal, and when you see your animal in the story, and when I say their name, you're going to come up, and you're going to put an animal right here when it's your turn, and we'll see if that looks right. Does that sound good? Okay. The story begins, Who Will Guide My Sleigh Tonight? By Jerry Pelota and David Bedrisky. <laughs> the job was too big for me. I needed help, says Santa. I had the sleigh, but one helper just wouldn't do. I was looking for a team. <gasps> I tried tigers. <gasps> Who has the tiger? Put the tiger right here, right down here. Put him right on the ground. Good job, and go sit down, and let's see. How does that look right? No, they played too rough and they tried to eat me. Oh my goodness, that's not good. I tried mice. Who has a mouse? <laughs> right here, put the mouse right here. We'll put the mouse right here and you sit down. Does that look right? No, they couldn't even lift the straps. That's not gonna work. <gasps> I tried penguins. Who has a penguin? Put the penguin right here. They flipped and they flapped and they flipped and they flopped. That wasn't going to work. <laughs> he tried fish. Who has a fish? <gasps> a fishy, bring the fishy. <laughs> There's one fish. He tried fish. We have dolphins on here, but we didn't have a dolphin. They were really smart, but they got Santa. Oh, what? Oh, my goodness. Poor Santa. Oh, boy. Let's see what's next. Oh, giraffe. Who has a giraffe? Is the giraffe right over there? There, the giraffe. It's right behind you. Santa loved the giraffes, but they got stuck. What did they get stuck in? 
You see what they got stuck in? They got stuck in all those telephone wires because their necks were too long. long. That's right. Let's see. Does that look right? Yeah. No. Thank you. <laughs> so he tried skunks. Ooh, skunks right here. Put the skunk right here. Right there. It's down. Here comes another skunk. Oh, we have a team of skunks. Let's see. What do you think? Is that a good idea? It was a stinky idea. Ew. Oh, boy. So he tried kangaroos. Who has a kangaroo? <laughs> hop, hop, hop. Here comes the kangaroo. But look what happened. The kangaroo hopped and all the presents fell right out of the sleigh. Oh no, that's not going to work. If they fell down the chimney, that would work. <laughs> so turtles, oh, has a turtle. The turtle was too slow. Thank you. Too slow. The, uh, nope, next is the cheetah. The cheetah. Oh, bring the cheetah. Whoop, oh, we're going to leave Santa there. Let's try the cheetah. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Here we go. The cheetah was too fast. <laughs> Let's try the snake. Here comes the snake. Oh, oh no, I don't like snakes, says Santa. Let's get that snake out of there. Poor Santa was scared. Oh, rhinoceros. Who has a rhinoceros? Oh, bam. Crash. They smashed through the house. Look at that rhinoceros covered in Christmas lights. Oh, boy. That's not going to work. Bunnies. Who has bunnies? Who has a bunny? Right here. Put the bunny down. Let's see how the bunny looks riding the sleigh. Does that look right? Mrs. Claus says no. Don't even think about it, Santa. Bunnies are for Easter. Thank you. Oh, that's too silly. So, Santa tried monkeys. Who has a monkey? Bring up the monkey. But Santa said, hey, stop it. Monkeys are so silly. He said, don't look at my underwear. <laughs> oh my goodness. That monkey's not going to work. No, it's not but then Santa had a bright idea. Reindeer. That's what I'll try. Reindeer. Bring up the reindeer. Let's see how they look up here. Bring them up. Put them right here. <laughs> here they come. Right here. Good job. There's one reindeer. And here comes the other reindeer. <laughs> here we go. There. Thank you. How does that look, everybody? Oh, Yahoo! Says Santa. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you for your help, everybody. Now, would you guys like to have a turn ringing some jingle bells? I have two songs for us to do where you can ring the bells. So let me pass out some jingle bells. songs on your song sheet. And it's called Ring the Bells. And it goes, ring, ring, ring the bells. Ring them loud and clear to tell the children everywhere that winter time is here. One more time. Ring, ring, ring the bells. Ring them loud and clear to tell the children everywhere that winter time is here. And the other song we have with our bells is if you're happy and you know it, ring your bells. So you're going to follow along. If you're happy and you know it, ring your bells. If you're happy and you know it, ring your bells. 
If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, ring your bell. If you're happy and you know it, ring up high. If you're happy and you know it, ring up high. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, ring up high. If you're happy and you know it, ring down low. If you're happy and you know it, ring down low. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, ring down low. If you're happy and you know it, ring your bells. If you're happy and you know it, ring your bells. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, ring your bells. Oh, very good job, everybody. And the next book we're going to read is a Hanukkah book, and it's called The Runaway Dreidel. Does anybody know what a dreidel is? It's a little toy that's a tradition during Hanukkah, and it's like a spinning top. It spins around, and then whatever it lands on is um, you have to do something, and it's a game. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one um, he probably got from his mom or dad or a relative, I bet. Runaway Dreidel by Leslie Newman. Twas the first night of Hanukkah, and on the fifth floor, there was holiday hustling and bustling galore. Papa was shining the silver menorah. Mama was wrapping a gift for Aunt Dora. Grandma was slicing up two chocolate babkas. Grandpa was grating potatoes for latkes. Sister was stirring the soup with a ladle. And I at her feet was spinning my dreidel. That's what a dreidel looks like on the bottom there. It's like a top. So I, whoops. Each letter flew by non gimel Haitian. It was making me dizzy to see them all spin. So I reached out my fingers to grab my new top, but that silly old dreidel, it just wouldn't stop. It spun around the kitchen and straight down the hall. It spun down the carpet and right up the wall. It spun through the bathroom right over the sink. It spun through the living room quick as a wink. <gasps> It spun toward the front door, which flew open wide as uncles and cousins and aunts poured inside. Runaway dreidel! I tried to squeeze past, but it was no use, for that toy was too fast. <gasps> it spun down the fourth floor past Miss Gray's wreath. It spun down the third floor past Otto's sharp teeth. It spun to the second floor past my friend Pete. It spun down the first floor and onto the street. My family and neighbors all took up the chase, but they were no match for that dreidel swift pace. It spun past the bakery right by the holla. The baker was selling cheap two for a dollar. It spun past the grocer who gave us a treat to keep up our strength as we raced down the street. You think they're going to catch that dreidel? I don't know. It's going down the street. It spun past a shoe store and past a boutique. It spun past two delis, one kosher, one Greek. It spun over a taxi and under a truck. A cop tried to stop it, but she had no luck. It spun out of the city and down the road. Out into the country, it never once slowed. It spun past a barn, a horse, and a cow. We kept up the chase. We couldn't stop now. It spun through a forest past hundreds of trees. It just wouldn't stop even though I said, please. <laughs> it spun through a valley an inch out of reach. It spun through a clearing, then onto a beach. <gasps> I ran after my dreidel, my feet in the sand. In a minute, I thought my toy would be safe in my hand. <gasps> Think he's going to get it now? He's so close. <gasps> but that dreidel just kept up its dizzying motion. It spun through the water right over the ocean. And then in a wink and a blink of an eye, my dreidel had spun itself up in the sky. It spun past the planets. It spun past the stars. At last, it stopped spinning a stone's throw from Mars. It sparkled and glittered and twinkled and shone like a jewel in the crown of a queen on a throne. What do you think it turned into? 
Do you see it up there in the sky? What does it look like? Like a star. That's right. I think that dreidel turned into a star. We stared at my dreidel, our jaws all gone slack, until Mama said it was time to turn back. At home we ate latkes and lit the menorah, and then just for fun, we all danced the hora. We opened our presents and ate chocolate gelt. It was then that we noticed how tired we felt. My uncles and cousins and aunts turned to go, so we walked them outside to the streets down below, where we said standing under, a star shining bright. And what's that star? There? Their dreidel, that's right. Happy Hanukkah to all, and to all a good night. Oh. And we have a Hanukkah song to sing that's on your song sheets. It's to the farmer in the dell, the tune of the farmer in the dell. And it goes, oh light the candles bright, and dance around the light. Hey ho, the dairy -o, it's Hanukkah tonight. Spin the dreidel round and watch it falling down. Hey ho, the dairy -o, it's Hanukkah tonight. Lucky treats to eat and family to greet. Hey ho, the dairy -o, it's Hanukkah tonight. Oh, very nice job, you guys. We have um, one more story that we're going to read, and then we have a flannel board to do. And this is now all about this season of winter. And what's outside? We have lots of? Snow. Snow. We have a lot of snow. Well, this book is about what snowmen do at night. Did anyone make a snowman? I didn't. No, it was kind of tricky. The snow was a little powdery, but soon we'll all make snowmen. It's by Carolyn Burner. Snowmen at night. One wintry day I made a snowman, very round and tall. But the next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. What do you think happened? I think it melted. He might have melted? Let's find out. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark yep. off the lawn and down the street right into the park. Oh, they gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. <laughs> they gather up their snowballs, the pitcher takes his aim, and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. Do you think snowmen play baseball? No! No? <laughs> no one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight. With snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. <laughs> then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Wahoo! They yell. This is by far the snowman biggest thrill. Finally, they're tuckered out and getting sleepy so. They slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's a little, lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. The end. <laughs> now, do you guys know the most famous snowman of all? Frosty? Did someone say Frosty? Well, I have Frosty here, but we have to put him together. Do you guys think you can help me? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to sing a line for me. You're going to sing, um, Dear Old Frosty. Can you try that? Ready? <coughs> Dear Old Frosty. Okay, sit right down. Guess who wears a magic hat? Magic hat. Magic hat. Guess who wears a magic hat? Dear old Frosty.
guess who has two eyes of coal? Eyes of coal, eyes of coal. Guess who has two eyes of coal? Dear old Frosty. Guess who has a carrot nose? Carrot nose, carrot nose. Guess who has a carrot nose? Dear old Frosty. Guess who has a yellow broom? Yellow broom, yellow broom. Guess who has a yellow broom? Dear old Frosty. Guess who has a scarf of red? Scarf of red, scarf of red. Guess who has a scarf of red? Dear old Frosty. Guess who has two green mittens? Two green mittens, two green mittens. Guess who has two green mittens? Dear old Frosty. Guess who wears big gray boots? Big gray boots, big gray boots. Guess who wears big gray boots? Dear old Frosty. Good job, now let's all stand up. Let's all stand up and be snowmen. Can everybody stand up and be a snowman? I am a snowman. Point to yourself, you're all gonna be snowman. Cold and white. I stand so still all through the night with a carrot nose and two eyes of coal. I have a muffler made of red around my head. I have a stovepipe hat upon my head. <laughs> the sun is coming out. I think I'm going to cry. Oh, yesterday I was plump and round, but now I'm just a puddle on the ground. <laughs> Oh, that poor snowman melted. You guys say sitting there. And there's one, we're going to do a craft in just a minute. And I have a rhyme that's going to um, give you a hint. And it goes like this. Ready? Let's all point up high and be a Christmas tree. Make your hands go like the branches. Way up high in the Christmas tree. Two little candy canes winked at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could and down dropped those candy canes. Mmm, mmm, good. Well, we're gonna be making a candy cane craft that you can bring home, bring home and put on your tree. But first we're gonna say goodbye to our story, so we're gonna say goodbye. We wave goodbye like this. <laughs> we wave goodbye like this. We say good up our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you, everybody.